Hey you guys, it's your girl T, and once again, I have a story that's coming from our first favorite state, Ratchet Ass Florida. Yes, honey, Ratchet Florida is back in the damn news. And this story is funny because I first heard about this from Spoken Reasons, and I told him that his state is ratchet, and he did not believe me. He was like, my state is not that damn bad. And then he found this story, and he was like, damn T, I think you're right, my state is ratchet. Yes, Spoken Reasons, your state is very ratchet. So anyways, the whole situation is a hot damn mess. So what's going on? I have a story about a 34-year-old. His name is Ronald Wesley. And basically, he broke into this woman's house. On top of raiding her liquor cabinet and getting drunk as a damn skunk, he decided that he felt like having some damn chicken tonight. Doesn't this family know any songs that aren't commercials? I feel like chicken tonight, like chicken tonight. Y'all remember that damn commercial. So anyways, while his ass was getting drunk, honey, he was seasoning up some chicken and frying it up. And in the middle of frying up this tender, juicy chicken, he was getting ready to sit down and enjoy his meal. The homeowners walked into their kitchen while he was finishing up this damn chicken fry fest, okay? This whole situation is ratchet as hell. Go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. <laughs> A crook with some serious culinary skills. His crime spree includes cooking dinner. But cops say his cravings landed him in hot water. Frying a bird and drinking her booze. An accused burglar going viral tonight. Cops say he broke into a home and cooked up a whole pot of trouble. Right out to Fox 35's David Williams. He's live tonight in Alachua County. Hey, David. Deputies say that man wound up in jail here in Alachua County basically because he was hungry. Cooking up trouble. My food, my chicken, sausage, and junk off her liquor, his sisters. The alleged burglar making himself right at home here inside Samantha O'Neill's kitchen. He was in here, drunk as a skunk, just being Betty Crocker. O'Neill got home from work with her sister and friend and saw an alleged burglar, Ronald Wesley, standing over her stove. I walked in to him standing here. Here's the pot of oil where he was frying chicken. A strainer right here with the chicken out of the freezer that got cut open and fried chicken. She was stunned, screamed, then did whatever she could to get Wesley out. I was scared. She, my sister was more scared. I just wanted him off the property, so I picked him up and I threw him out the gate. The woman called for help, and deputies found Wesley wandering nearby and arrested him. O'Neill says she's seen him around the neighborhood and definitely didn't allow him in her house. Definitely. There's going to be cameras and deadbolts, and so nothing like this ever happens again. As for the cooking crime spree in her own kitchen, turns out the suspected crook is a pretty good cook. My buddy had eaten it, so he said it was seasoned very well. And Wesley is out of jail tonight. He's facing felony charges, including burglary, but his court date has not been set yet. Meanwhile, O'Neill says this is probably the most bizarre thing that has ever happened to her. We're live in Delachua County. David Williams, Fox 35 News. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. This whole situation, like I said, is crazy. Now Wesley is facing felony charges, including burglary and larceny. Um, he's out of jail and a court date hasn't been set yet. But something caught me kind of odd with this story. Something I noticed that she said on television and something I noticed in the article, she called him an acquaintance. She said that she did not allow him into the house, but that he was an acquaintance. So I'm thinking to myself that he's not really too much of a stranger if she's trying to make it seem. Maybe they were creeping on the side and she didn't want nobody to know. Like, I feel like he was just way too comfortable to just be a regular burglar. You know what I'm saying? I understand it's Florida, don't get me wrong. And I understand crazy shit goes on in Florida. But usually when people want to burglarize your home, they usually come in there, take your goods, and they get the hell up out of there. They're not going to make themselves that comfortable where they're damn drinking vodka and defrosting chicken. Y'all know how long damn chicken takes to defrost. You know what I mean? You got to put it under some damn hot water or possibly defrost it in the microwave, but it's at least going to take 30 damn minutes, if not longer. So he done sat here and defrosted chicken. He done found the seasoning, hooked it up, got the frying and eating. So I'm just like, you know, he was just a bit too comfortable in this home. So I just kind of feel like, is there more to the story? You know what I'm saying? Is there some shit that she's not telling us? Because something ain't cleaning the buttermilk, okay? 
So anyways, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm reading too deeply into the story, but I feel like he's a bit too comfortable to be a damn burglar, okay? Let me know your thoughts on this entire ratchet ass situation coming from our first favorite state, ratchet ass Florida. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.